New guidelines have been issued for performing CPR on drowning victims. And health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now to explain why they're so needed now. This applies to young children, guys. You know, drowning is the number one cause of death for young children, and experts say adding rescue breaths to CPR for them can help save lives. What happened to three-year-old Judah Brown could happen to any family. His mom, Christy, says Judah slipped away at a friend's barbecue and got into the pool. When they found him, several minutes later, he wasn't breathing. Bystanders tried to resuscitate him with chest compressions, but not rescue breaths. And I do believe that if he had gotten those breaths, if we had known to do those breaths, then he possibly could have survived his drowning. Until recently, guidelines for CPR have focused on chest compressions to save drowning victims. But now the American Heart Association and the American Academy of Pediatrics have updated their guidelines, saying rescue breaths are also critical. It makes a difference. Somebody who drowned and then their heart stopped, the reason it stopped was there was no oxygen. So if you don't somehow provide them that oxygen back, it's really not all that helpful to circulate the, the deoxygenated blood around their body. Michael Smith teaches what should now happen with a drowning victim under the new CPR guidelines. I'm going right into compressions, right in the center of the chest. I'm pushing down at least two inches at a rate of 100 to 120 per minute. After 30 compressions, he starts rescue breaths. Pinch the nose, tilt the head back. One breath. Two breaths. Christy started the Judah Brown Project, which helps educate adults and kids about preventing drownings. We in the drowning prevention community have long time believed that the rescue breaths are absolutely necessary for resuscitation after drowning. She says the change is long overdue. And experts say parents with small children should be trained in CPR, including with instruction for rescue breaths. Now, this new guidelines, these are only for children drowning. Mm -hmm. CPR currently for adults still just involves the chest compressions, not mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on adults. Life-saving stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. All right, Steph, thank you. Uh -huh.